Hey guys, it's Summer Rain from Plant One On Me, and it's time for the next episode. Guys, thank you for all of your questions. They come in all sorts of ways, Instagram, Facebook, on my blog at homesteadbrooklyn.com, underneath the, the videos. Um, I should have just like one place where you could put them, but the reality is we're all in those different places, and sometimes we just like have a question, and that's the place that we could ask it. So. Feel free to have them come along. I compile them all in this handy dandy book and I write down all the questions. I try to write down your names. Sometimes I forget them, so sorry. And um, and then I'll try to, to answer them. Two or three questions you know, every week because otherwise these episodes would be very long. So the first question today um, and the second question today has everything to do with succulents. And Joshua Krapfer Bauer says, my aloe succulents have started to mold in the center. Any tips? All right, I think sometimes it's really difficult to understand what's happening to one's plants because you can't actually physically see the plant. However, if something is molding, generally it means that it's wet or it has wet conditions because mold doesn't typically grow in dry conditions, which is what succulents and cacti particularly love. So if something's molding in the center, it just means that it's you might be watering it too much or the soil base that it's in or the place that it's in is not draining enough. Maybe the soil is completely compacted and the water is just sitting in there and it's creating a space that would be more amenable to mold than it would a typical plant like an aloe um, or any other kind of succulent or cacti for that matter. So I would say if it's molding, uh, you would want to get it out of the container that it's in. Um, check that it's not too wet. Get some new succulent or cacti soil and, um, and you know, feel the roots. You know, even if you go bare root and just kind of feel the roots, feel if they still have give, um, that they're like bending a little bit because if they're not, then chances are you might have already killed the roots, which would be a shame, but it happens. Most plants die from, from overwatering, unfortunately. So uh, don't water it as much. Aloe and cacti and other succulents really, really thrive with benign neglect. And, you know, just to give you a little side story in Mozambique, where we do some of the agroforestry initiatives, which is, you know, on the eastern coast of country on the eastern coast of Africa. And they just have aloe growing there in like the heat of the sun. And they barely give it any water. So I'm, I'm talking maybe once every week or every couple of weeks in like extreme sun. So be gentle when it comes to to watering be don't um, be a you know trigger happy when it comes to to pouring that water on there and make sure it has the right kind of soil really well draining potting mix you know you might need a little bit of um sand or um you know loam or vermiculite in there that creates a little bit more air pockets for that particular plant so good luck, Joshua. I hope that your aloe comes back to life. If it's anything in particular, succulents and, and aloe and cacti are, are really resilient. So hopefully that resolves it. Um, someone here has a question, and I'm sorry I didn't copy your name down. I know you came through Instagram, um, has asked, well, two people actually, two different things. One person's cacti is drooping and another person's is turning yellow. All right, so again, when, we, when we're kind of like looking at plant problems, whether it's browning or whether it's turning yellow, oftentimes it could be a range of different issues. So if I don't get the issue right, don't hate me <laughs> because it's very hard to see unless you know I'm actually physically there and I have a sense of like what you're actually doing with the plant. So if the cacti is drooping, mm. chances are you're not giving it enough water. So cacti typically um, in the non-growing seasons don't need water. So from November to March, I actually don't water my 
cacti unless there's like an extremely hot you know sunny week and um, and I'll and then I'll water maybe my cacti a little bit as soon as the growing season starts so I'm talking you know April end of April to October that's when I start to water my plants you know every couple weeks now if your cacti is in an extreme south facing window if you're in this hemisphere I'm in New York and southern facing exposures could get really hot especially if you have like big windows or you know whatever and it's not um, shaded by any kind of shades or blinds or anything along those lines and I find that my cacti, cacti can actually get a little wilty and when that happens they just need water so make sure you give them a really good um, watering so that the water comes down through the bottom every couple weeks or as you see that they might need it um, so hopefully that helps the person who had the question about the cacti drooping now the cacti turning yellow well there's a couple different things so i have some succulents and some cacti that um start to shrivel or turn a little uh discolored and my guess is that it's too much light for those guys so oftentimes I'll, i'd take my succulent or my cacti and kind of pull it back a little bit from the light because even though they really do love light too much of it could actually discolor them i would also take a look into watering it as well because certain suck um, certain cacti particularly not the ones, um, you know, I'm thinking of the Mickey Mouse ones that have little ears, the Optunias, where um, the little pieces can actually fall down. If you have one that's, uh, that's very straight and it's like on a, like a big kind of like stalk-like thing, it doesn't really droop. So I would, I would look into actually watering it. I don't think that there's any, probably anything wrong with the fertilizing or the water because like cacti really don't need fertilization they could handle a lot of like salts and minerals in the water as well so you know if it were a different plant i might say that it's like chlorosis um, or maybe some deficiencies or maybe a toxicity within the particular potting soil but for um cacti i probably think it's you know something one of those things so check it out um, again a general good rule of thumb for cacti and succulents is watering um, every couple weeks um, succulents every other you know every week for succulents and for cacti which is the type of succulent maybe every couple weeks and if not a little bit more in the real heat of the summer so again um, feel free to chime in i'm sure there's some other folks who might have some ideas when it comes to cacti and succulent care, but hopefully that helps and hopefully it allows your succulents and cacti to thrive. And if you have any questions, keep them coming. I have a boatload of them in here and I need to get to them, but there's only so many weeks in a month and we can only get over to so many questions in a month. So um, hopefully we will you know, get through them as much as possible and tune in next week as well. Thanks guys. Bye.